Hey guys, today's episode of MMO News Today is sponsored by LewdComplex.com. Be sure to use promo code TENEC127 at LewdComplex.com for discounts on all, time, all types of anime and hentai clothing. That's LewdComplex.com. Link will be in the description below. Gamers and game mets, what is going on? My name is TENEC127 and welcome back to another episode of MMO News Today. <sighs> Console edition. And in today's episode, we got a little bit of a decent amount going on for the first half of the episode. I'm going to give you guys all the game news and stuff like that here in the beginning. But I would ask that, you know, everybody please stick around for the second half of the video. Because during that part of the video, I will be giving a small channel update about some changes and upcoming games and stuff like that coming to my YouTube channel. And But anyway, guys... Let's go ahead, get into the video, get ourselves hyped up and stuff like that. We got three juicy stories today. Two of them are revolving specifically around um, MMORPGs on console. One of the other stories is actually revolving around a MOBA coming on console on console in August, specifically Xbox One. But we're going to go ahead and get into that and give you guys the most exciting news first. I'm not even going to say too much, but hey everyone. Terra Console has finally announced that one of the missing classes is coming very soon. Haven't given us a date or anything, but better yet, roll the trailer. Let's get into it. So yeah, we have a we have a teaser trailer for the Gunner class coming to Terra Console. Unfortunately, they haven't given us a release date or anything. We just got the whole coming soon thing that you know you guys all have known to love from En Mass and Blue Hole, especially with the launch of Terra Console. <laughs> so all we can do honestly right now is just laugh at that. But I'm going to assume it's going to be sometime in the coming weeks because they have been pretty good with doing you know month to month and weekly updates with this game. I don't see them being being, I don't see it being like too far off or anything like that. But just so you guys know, we still haven't got much word on the um, on the Valkyrie or Ninja yet. But when we do, you guys know you'll hear it first. And speaking of that, special shout out to Nova DBZ because he did call that these classes would be would probably be released one at a time. And look, here we are, Gunners first in line, just like he just like he thought. So be sure to check out Nova DBZ. Make sure to tell him thank you for his great prediction. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and move on to the next story. The next story of today is for Black Desert Online for Xbox One. Now, granted, you know, we don't have too many more details because of this little interview that we didn't have before, but um, they are sharing some dev notes. They are speaking more about the game and stuff like that. So that is a good sign um, Black Desert, they tweeted on the official Black Desert Xbox One Twitter, and for those who don't know, they do have a separate Twitter that specifically covers the Xbox One version of Black Desert. So, thanks to that, that is our indication that the, um, there will be content differences between the Xbox One version and the PC version, which I'm sure you guys were already aware of and already prepared for. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the interview. The community manager, Simon Yale, says, We managed to snag a few guys from the engine team to answer some of our questions over the last few days. The engine team is the team that is responsible for making sure our pro proprietary engine works, and they were tasked with, one, with making sure the game would work on the Xbox One. It says, Hey guys, we're the engine team, and we're all essential, essentially engineers that created and then adapted the game engine that runs Black Desert. It's not as flashy as the developers or the art team, but our work allows them to do their job. Getting the Black Desert engine to work on Xbox One has been relatively straightforward. We have a lot of experience with the DX11 architecture, and luckily the Xbox One uses the same stuff. Of course, getting it to run is only a fraction of our work, 
and the rest of the time is making sure that it works well. Of course, there have been many challenges along the way with the UI overhaul being particularly challenging. Loading speeds were also particularly interesting and the game is pretty heavy on the loading due to the whole map being one zone. But we have optimized everything that, so that it runs well. Our current targets for the performance of the game on Xbox One S and X are as follows. They still haven't changed from the last update I gave you guys. Xbox One S and base Xbox One 1080p 30fps, Xbox One X 2160p and 30 frames per second. So there is no 60 frames per second target as of right now, but they do say here that our targets are easily achieved out in the open field but in the high po population areas. We've had a number, we have had some difficulty managing these numbers, mainly large towns and cities. We are still working on optimizing the game. So guys, do realize that these frame rates and stuff like that, they are subject to change. They do say that here in the, here in the, um, in the interview. We have seen a lot of people in the communities talk about whether or not you will be able to change the graphics settings. While there will be a few options available, there will be considerably less options in the Xbox version than the PC version. Overall, the development of the engine on our Xbox One version has been very similar to our PC version. The one thing that surprised us most in development was that even though PCs are generally more expensive than Xbox Ones, the difference between them is not that vast. We were very impressed by what the Xbox can offer at its price point. Designing for Xbox has taught us how to squeeze out every resource possible in making sure our game runs well and we intend to use all the memory and resources that the Xbox One S and X provide. That's honestly really good news. So you heard it from the developers themselves that there is not really going to be a vast difference between the Xbox version and the PC version and building the game. Now granted, you know, because it's consoles, consoles are overall overall weaker than PC. There's going to be, you know, some differences, some some complications. We're obviously, you know, going to get content slower than PC. You guys have seen, you know, this normal trend with um, console MMOs as usual nothing's changed that's you know just a normal a normal basic thing developers always do strive their best to you know once the game gets deep in the life cycle to bring the two versions as close as possible like neverwinter for example you guys know every time pc gets an update console gets it between 60 and 90 days later that's always how you know it's worked with a lot of a lot of mmorpgs on console now last but not least our final story for today is the MOBA, the side-scrolling MOBA from the makers of MapleStory, Hyper Universe, is going to be launching completely free-to-play on the Xbox One platform August 7th. I am personally hype. I am excited for this game. I actually just recently tried it out on PC. Now, granted, my laptop is a straight-up piece of crap, so, you know, <laughs> my, um, my experience with it wasn't the greatest. But overall, I was having fun with the game. I did get to play some PvE and PvP matches. And, guys, honestly... Take um, take Smite and like a side scroller, um, MMO probably like uh like Closers or or Maple Store or something like that, and just mix them together, and that's pretty much what you get with this game. It's a really fun experience. There's really cool and unique heroes. There's like six different class types, which I found like was like crazy. Like you know how most games have tank, DPS, healer. This game has tank, bruiser specialist healer and something else it's crazy how many you know different class types and and strategies you can build i thought it was going to be very linear because it's you know a side scrolling game but they proved me wrong when i played it and the formula actually works very well because they're using a um because it uses like a a fighting game kind of style so i honestly really enjoyed it and i'm really looking forward to um checking this game out so I cannot wait personally until they um until they bring this to they bring this to Xbox one and also if you guys um are really interested in that I'll put it in the link in the description below there is a um a pack you can purchase on the Xbox store I believe for $19.99 that'll get you you know some bonus skins um access to all heroes day one and all future heroes and stuff like that in the game so guys be sure to check that out as well if you're interested now let's go ahead and get on to the second half of this video which is the channel update What's up guys and um, today I just wanted to just let you guys know about some things that you know I'm going to be switching up on the channel on the channel here and stuff like that. There's not going to be too many crazy vast changes but I just wanted to bring some things up. So as you guys know if you watched this today's episode of MMO News Today you saw I mentioned a game called Hyper Universe. 
first and foremost, I want to let you guys know that um, I am reaching out to this developer to try and partner with them. And Hyper Universe is also going to be a big part of my channel in the future. So if you guys are excited about that game, um, be sure to, uh, to let me know. Make sure you subscribe and stick around because I will be covering news updates, gameplays, tips, tricks, and guides, and stuff like that. It was one of those games I kind of tried, fell in love with, and, you know, and got a passion for, and I was like, yeah, I definitely want to share this, share this with everyone. Um, another thing I wanted to bring up to you guys was, um, for my channel as a whole, we're still going to stick with, you know, the whole console MMO enthusiast thing. I'm going to keep that. That's going to be the main bread and butter of this channel. But I do want to make sure that I'm not keeping things too linear with this channel as well. So I am going to bring other games here more often from time to time. Because there's a lot of times where I don't upload videos and I say to myself, well, it's not MMO based. So I don't think anyone's going to watch it. And I literally sit there scared to make a video on it because I think people are going to hate it, dislike it, and stuff like that. And I look at how my channel started before, you know, I started covering MMOs, before I even brought a Neverwinter video to this channel. And I say to myself, there was a time where I wasn't afraid to upload videos on other games, and now I am. That just didn't didn't feel right to me. And the reason I'm growing the way I am right now is because I wasn't afraid to try something different. Like, MMOs was something different for me once upon a time. So, and you know, and getting me to where I got today was by keeping that mindset and not being afraid to expand out to other things so taking myself and closing myself back into that old mindset that held me back that's not going to be a smart idea so I'm not saying the channel's changing you know you're not going to see like Call of Duty videos and stuff like that every day just just know that there's going to be a bit more variety in what I upload mainly so that I can upload more often for you guys because we all know the MMO genre it does get dry it does get a little bland from time to time so I don't want to you know just keep limiting limiting myself to you know just strictly console MMO stuff only I think if I do that this channel will eventually crash and burn and I personally don't want that don't want that to happen I know you guys don't want that to happen so we're going to you know just expand our um our range just a just a little bit and last but not least the main thing I wanted to talk I wanted to talk to you guys about was um I've been getting requests for this a lot the past two years and I think I'm finally going to go ahead and go about it starting this week. I'm proud to announce that I'm officially going to be bringing Neverwinter content back to my channel. Now, this is going to take a while because I have a ton, a ton of catching up to do in Neverwinter. Um, I have a new PlayStation ID, so I have a brand new account with the game. I'm not very high level. There's so much I got to rush through with Endgame and stuff like that. It's going to be a while before, you know, I catch up to do anything that's on, like, you know, a endgame veteran level with Neverwinter. But I will be streaming it from time to time on Twitch, you know, just keeping you guys up to date with my progress and stuff like that. I probably will um, make, like, a 2018 beginner's guide and everything because levels 1 through 70 on Neverwinter and the first couple expansions, I'm very knowledgeable on. But once you get past that whole, um... The whole second and third expansion area that's where I get a bit lost and confused so that's going to take some um some catching up on um, as as well but I just want you know to fill you guys in on a few things just you know coming forth with the channel and changing and stuff like that don't worry we're still an MMO channel at heart and everything but I just want to you know make sure I keep variety and I keep you know something here for you know for for everybody because this is a gaming channel overall MMOs aren't the only genre I play they're the main genre I play one of the genres I, I love most but there's just you know all kinds of cool stuff and things that I want to share with you guys and I know a lot of you guys play a lot more than just you know MMOs so maybe I'll bring something to this channel that interests y'all every here and then and if you guys have you know suggestions of things you know you'd want to see on here let me know I'll try I'll try out different things and, and stuff like that I play all kinds of games but um, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. If you all enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button for me. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. It's your boy, Tanek127. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Till next time, peace out. Take care.